Welcome to the Computer Essentials video on the File Explorer. The learning objectives for this video tutorial are as follows. We will learn about the purpose of the File Explorer application, explore various ways to open File Explorer, how to use the ribbon in Windows 10 and past versions, and how the ribbon has changed in Windows 11. We will learn to navigate the File Explorer through the Navigation pane and the Folders pane, how to select multiple files using your mouse and keyboard shortcuts, using the Copy, Cut, and Paste commands, how to create new folders, and how to rename files. If you wish to view a specific topic within this tutorial, you can click on any of the timestamps you see on your screen now and you will be taken to that chapter in the video. The File Explorer is the file management application that comes standard with the Windows operating system. It is the primary interface users interact with to organize files and folders stored on your computer. Prior to Windows 8, the File Explorer was called the Windows Explorer. So if you are running an older version of Windows, you may find the application under that name. It is essential to understand the structure of the File Explorer and how to effectively navigate the application so you can keep organized more effectively and save time finding files and folders on your device. Let's begin with opening the application. There are a few different ways to open the File Explorer. The method you use may depend on the application you are working in, the setup of your device, or simply your preference. When you click the Startup menu button on your taskbar, Windows will open a pane of your device's settings and applications. All applications installed on your device will display here, in a list. You can select File Explorer from the list by scrolling down to the Windows System folder. The various applications that control the Windows operating system are in this folder, including File Explorer. You can also right-click directly on the Start Menu button to open a contextual menu of all the main startup menu settings and system applications. Right-clicking anywhere else in the taskbar will open a different contextual taskbar menu, so be sure to hover over the Start Menu button before right-clicking for this option. A search box is also a helpful tool for finding files, apps, settings, and even allows you to search for phrases and keywords, connecting you to a web search via the Bing browser. The most common method of accessing File Explorer is by shortcut. You can place File Explorer and other applications as shortcuts on your desktop or the taskbar. A desktop shortcut allows you to quickly access the application with a double click on the application icon. A taskbar shortcut allows you to quickly access the application with a single click on the application icon. The File Explorer is on your taskbar by default and it is recommended you keep this shortcut as it is the most frequently used method of accessing File Explorer. The ribbon replaces the menu and toolbar system of older versions of Windows. The ribbon is designed to help you quickly find the commands you need in order to complete a task. As of this video, Windows 11 is the most current version of the operating system. Let's walk you through how File Explorer functions in older versions of the program and how the ribbon has been streamlined in Windows 11. On the ribbon, the menu bar has been replaced by command tabs related to the tasks you wish to accomplish. The default command tabs in the File Explorer are File, Home, Share, and View. Groups of command icons, called command groups, appear under each tab. The commands that appear depend on the tab that is selected. Each command group is organized by its function. The File tab is designed to provide users with quick access to general File Explorer commands and settings. This includes opening a new File Explorer window, advanced File Explorer options, closing the application, and a frequent places pane that displays your most recently accessed folders. The Home tab is designed to provide users with common file management commands to create, delete, and navigate folders and files in the File Explorer. We will touch on commands from the Home tab later in this lesson. The Share tab provides users with tools and methods to share various types of files. And the View tab provides users with different ways to configure how files are displayed. 
It allows you to sort and group files and hide or show the file's properties in varying degrees of detail. Let's review some important commands on this tab that will be helpful for viewing files in the File Explorer. The File Explorer is broken up into two columns, the Navigation pane and what we will call the Folders pane. In the pane's command group, a third column can be toggled on or off to display additional details or a preview of your selected file. Commands in the pane and layout command group provide useful tools for organizing how much information and what kind of information is displayed in the file explorer. Selecting preview pane will display an interactive preview of your file that you can scroll through and even view the entire document within file explorer. When selecting details pane, it will display a list of the file's general properties and advanced details like when it was created, when it was last accessed, and the total time spent editing the document. The size of each pane can be adjusted by clicking and dragging on the edge of the pane. The View tab also features a useful layout gallery that allows users to select how files are viewed and in how much detail. This ranges from large icons to detailed lists of the files. When you hover your cursor over one of the layout styles, it will be automatically applied to File Explorer in a live preview. See, each type of view has varying degrees of information and should be changed based on the type of files you are working with. For example, if you have a folder of pictures, instead of a list view, you may want to select large or extra large thumbnails so you can view the photos without having to open the files individually to see the whole image. In Windows 11, the ribbon has been simplified to include the most important commands from each tab into a single ribbon. See that the file management commands like copy, paste, and rename file from the home tab and sort and view commands like the gallery layout from the view tab make up a majority of the commands on the ribbon in Windows 11. For the purposes of this video and for your understanding of File Explorer basics, this is the only new change that is consequential in your ability to navigate the application. Besides some of the interface, the application still works the same way it has in past versions of the program. File Explorer is navigated primarily through the Navigation pane. The Navigation pane features Windows Standard Folders, Quick Access, This PC, and Network. File Explorer is organized in a hierarchy, with these folders at the top level and are referred to as top-level folders. For example, if you expand the This PC folder and click on Documents, see the address bar below the ribbon displays the steps you took to get to the folder. This is called the File Path and describes a file's location within your file structure. See that This PC is the first folder listed in the File Path, meaning it is the top-level folder. In the Navigation pane, Quick Access is the first folder listed because it is frequently used among Windows users since it allows you to quickly access recently opened folders and files. This PC is a starting point of access for all folders, files, and drives on your computer. Files that appear in Quick Access are stored in this PC. Network is a shared folder that can be accessed by anyone on the network with valid authorizations or credentials. In the navigation pane, if we click on an arrow next to any folder in the pane, the next level of the folder structure will open. Selecting a folder will display all the files it contains in the folders pane to the right. However, you do not need to use the navigation pane to navigate your files. Double clicking on a folder in the folders pane will also open the next level in the folder structure. To go back in the folder structure, you can click on the folder again in the navigation pane or use the back or up navigation buttons next to the address bar. When clicked, the back button takes you back to whatever folder you had opened previously. It reverses the action you just took. The up button, on the other hand, takes you up one level in the folder hierarchy. If you cannot find a file by locating it through the navigation pane but know the file's name or the approximate title, you can search for the file name or keywords in the File Explorer search box. The search box completes your search based on your currently selected folder. For example, 
If you have the This PC top level folder open and search for a keyword or file name, File Explorer will search the entire This PC folder, which is all the files in your computer, and return results for your keyword or file name. Now that we have an understanding of the ribbon, navigation pane, and how File Explorer handles basic folder structure, let's review some common shortcuts and actions we can take to organize our files. Let's start with how to select multiple files and use your cursor to organize File Explorer. File Explorer features commands on the ribbon for selecting multiple files, but it is recommended you use keyboard shortcuts. Shortcuts allow you to select files with your mouse and use the keyboard to select commands simultaneously. If you only use the ribbon, you will have to select files, then click the command you want, which is a slower process. Once you become comfortable with using keyboard shortcuts, it will save you a lot of time moving and organizing your files. With a file or folder selected, if you hold down the Shift key and select another file, File Explorer will select every file between your original selection and your second selection. See when I select the Employee Timesheet version 2, hold down Shift, then select the Income Statement file, all three files in my folder are selected. For more precision, you can choose from selected files in a list by holding down the control key and clicking on the desired files. Only files you click while holding control will be selected. You can also select multiple files by clicking on a blank part of the folders pane and dragging your mouse across the files you want to select. You can then click and drag your selection and move it anywhere within File Explorer. If you hover your selection over a folder in the navigation pane, it will allow you to move the selection to that folder. Or, if you wait and continue to hover, the folder will open the next level in the folder structure. Before you unclick and confirm the new placement of your files, you can always press the escape key on your keyboard to cancel the action. Using your mouse to move and organize files is useful for some situations, but can be cumbersome and time consuming. More commonly, you will use the copy, cut, and paste commands to move and organize files and folders in your file explorer. These commands will all appear in the ribbon in Windows 11, but we will be referring to their position in Windows 10 and previous versions because of the menu system. See under this PC in the Documents folder, I have a folder called Office Documents with three files. Let's make a copy of the original employee timesheet file. Whenever we cut or copy files or folders in File Explorer, the item is saved to our clipboard. The clipboard is a built-in feature that temporarily saves the last item you copied or cut to your computer's memory. When you copy or cut an item, it will be stored in your clipboard until a new item has been copied or cut, replacing it. I'm going to select the file and click the copy command on the home tab, use the keyboard shortcut Control c or choose copy from the contextual menu. When you select a file and right click on it, a contextual menu appears with various commands, including cut and copy. Right clicking again in the desired folder will give you the option to paste your selection. In the same folder, let's paste the file using one of these methods. I will use the keyboard shortcut Control V. See that since we have two copies of the same file in the same folder, the new copy is given a new file name to differentiate it from the original. If we click the Up button to bring us higher in the folder hierarchy to the Documents folder and paste the file again, another copy of the employee timesheet will display, but this copy will retain its original file name. We can tell the files apart by their unique location in the file structure, without having to give them a unique name. We do not want a third copy of the timesheet in this folder, so press the keyboard shortcut Control z to undo the last paste action. You can use Control z to undo an action at any time. We want to separate our Income Statement Excel file and our Employee Timesheet Word files into separate folders and organize them by application. I will create two new folders called Word Documents and Excel Documents in the Documents folder 
then organize the individual files into the folders. In Windows 11, New Folder is located under the New drop-down menu. In previous versions of Windows, it is located on the Home tab. You can also create a new folder by right-clicking on an empty part of the Folders pane to open the contextual menu, select New, then Folder from the list. When you create a folder, the name bar will be highlighted so you can give it a name. You should always give new folders a unique name that describes the kind of contents it will hold. With the two folders created, let's move our files and delete our old folder. Open the Office Documents folder and select the Income Statement file. Click the Cut command on the ribbon, Contextual Menu, or use the keyboard shortcut for Cut, Control x See the file icon is now transparent, meaning it has been selected to be cut, but will not be removed from its location until it is pasted somewhere else. You can press the Escape key to deselect the files if you don't want to follow through with the action. Using the navigation pane, I will locate and open the Excel Documents folder from the file structure and then paste the file into the folder. If we return to the Office Documents folder, the file has been removed. Use the Shift and Click shortcut to select Employee Timesheet files. Click and drag them to the Navigation pane and navigate to the Word Documents folder. Finally, let's rename our Employee Timesheet copy file. Select the file you wish to rename, then select the Rename command on the ribbon or Home tab. In all versions of Windows, you can right-click on a file and select Rename from the contextual menu. In this video, we have covered the basics of navigating and organizing the File Explorer. It may look daunting at first, and will take some practice, but with the help of this video, you should have no issues navigating File Explorer and keeping it organized. This concludes the Computer Essentials video on the File Explorer.